All right, so today's video, we are watching a gold one Winston who has actually um, had previous coaching too from someone which uh, helped him a lot, apparently, which is which is awesome to hear. They were able to climb a bit more. They actually got the plat at one point and then fell down a gold immediately. So what they want to know is what can they do next? They, they were able to improve from that, but what can they do next to get in the plat and not fall right back down a goal? That's what they want to know. Well, guess what? We're going to find out. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube. You'll see the button pop up there. Well, I think for most people, if some, it'll pop up a button that like shines now, I guess, which is pretty cool. It's video time. Yeah, I'm curious to see, because obviously they, they've already kind of like, are able to probably pick up some good habits on Winston, so let's see where it goes. Yeah, so I, I you do that all the time too, Jones, that, that you don't, know here, so. All right. Going right side, going for a little bit of map control. Feels good. So something that I, I, I'm i on the same page as you going for the Torp Torp, but let me, oh wait, I have a golden cap. Captain, thanks for the six months of team. I think I appreciate it, thank you. What are they running right now? They have a Doom Comp? Ooh, you're gonna be in a tough spot. Right away, I want you to see where your bubble went. This is something that can happen, and I, I've done this on Winston too. I, and Winston's still here. I'm improving at in top 500 games, but you got to make sure that you're not wasting your bubble like you are. Like, do not waste your bubble like you are. And, and what I mean by that is like, your bubble is such an important part of your kit that anytime you waste your bubble like this, it, it's going to be a lot, a lot more difficult for your team to like help you. And if you look like you also aren't running that like that classic on a brig comp that will help you more. So there's a little bit more downtime of you just kind of sitting there and not be able to do anything. You get what I'm saying? You just, it's just gonna take a little bit longer to keep, get you healed up, and then like you don't have as many like cooldown rotations that you can do. Going high ground's fine here. I don't mind this. That's a good idea. That's a better bubble, by the way. And you get to isolate that. See, that's good. That that was a good play by you right there. Nice job. Nice. So, just to give you an idea, all of that was a good sequence, but I also want to point out that. And this is where, like, you can get in that, you can get in the, the habit of, like, I just got three of limbs. How do we not win that? Now, I want to go back a little bit. Remember when you jumped in and then you, like, wasted your bubble and then your teammate had to commit all of their heals to you? What happens after that point when your teammates get dove and they don't have the resources because they had to put all the resources into you? And that's why it's very important to get good plays like that. Do you get what I'm saying? I would say. Okay, your soldier's out of position there. What do you do about that? Soldier will struggle a little bit against the Doom. Okay, I want you to know where your, where your plan is here. Good play again. Nice job. Yeah, yeah. I actually like that you're not... I don't mind this, by the way. Chat, you're going to look at that, and you're going to go, Oh, what are you doing? I actually don't mind getting the Torp Turret there. I really don't. I, I, I am a fan of getting the Torp Turret. I'll tell you that much. Uh, Mog, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you. Appreciate it. Was a golden hype train? You get the golden capital for like 24 hours, I think. Okay with your aggression there. You're forced on to cool down. Your bubble was okay. Like it wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. I'm okay with that. Watching, watching. I would play to get your ult. Uh, Glitter, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, appreciate it. And uh, Lucas, thank you for the two months after one. Thanks. Hope you're doing well, too. Chad, we get some blankets in the chat for Ginger Ninja with another five gift. Thank you. Here's there. I appreciate everybody. It's very, very kind. The hype train did? Also, I, I do want to point out something that you're in a you're in a good habit of, and, and this you actually mentioned that you had, had gotten coach and pr prior, is I noticed that you actually have a rotation where you go up on high ground first and then go down. That's a good habit to get into, by the way. A lot of Winstons want to jump in and face tank, and this goes for anybody learning Winston. Taking a high ground and then dropping down rather than jumping in and then not having an out. When you have the high ground, you can kind of dictate the pace of when you're going to drop down and make a play. I've seen you do that multiple times. That, 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 that's a good habit to get into, and I, I'm really it's really cool to see that. Definitely continue that. Alright? 
Um, nothing you can do there. I'm fine with that. What does broken keyboard mean all the time? My hint for that is Anna has a spray for it. Okay, next step in here is I want you to... Yep. Not bad. Didn't chase in a limb. Oh, is it an emote or a spray? I forgot. Is it an emote? <laughs> Might be an emote, too. Okay, what you want to do now is you want to go dive their team soon and just, and just ult in. Engage them and force them to have to force out their ults. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play to play to ult. Play to ult. If you need to. Good usage there. When I say play to ult, by the way, chat, what that means is that as Winston, you can commit to the idea that you're going to have to ult if you need to. It doesn't mean you just ult the ult. Does that make sense? That was a good job. Tactical visor activated. I mean, I mean, honestly, I'm out of that. I mean, it's a vibe everywhere. You got to remember, like, with TikTok streaming, it's still, I'm still very much new to it, so it takes time on that stuff. Oh, also, chat, we did uh, start the uh, the cat TikTok. If you want to see videos of Arnie, Luna, or Sully. Ult now. I, I actually would have, I'm going to be honest with you, and, and this is actually something that you can definitely work on. I'll, I'll explain this in a second, and, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll ask chat the question here. What's the link? Look up what a swell cat. I figured that'd be a good one. What a swell cat. Okay, so I'm gonna pause now and talk about that very quickly. So something that you did wrong there, and like, let, let me let me ask you. Okay, so th I think this is where you can improve on because I, you actually have some really good plays that you're doing well. I'm also curious to see if you stay on Winston going into university, and that's because that map is not as good for Winston. So I want to see how you play. But something that you didn't quite do well there is you played reactionary with Winston. What you need to do, what you need to do, is play aggressive with your ultimate and make them play reactionary. Instead, Winston will struggle a little bit when Winston has to play reactionary in comparison to aggressively. So you need to play more aggressive in that type of situation. When it's 99% to 99%, like in that range, the other team is going to feel like they have to ult if you engage first. So either you stop them from ulting or you make them use bad ultimates. Do you see what I'm saying right now? So what you did there is you waited and waited and waited and let them get where they wanted to play on the map. And when you do that, the other team can play the way they want to. You want to dictate the pace and not let the other team do that. And that's what you did wrong there. And your ultimate became not good and your team might lose this fight because you waited so long to make that play. So don't be afraid to be aggressive with that play, displacing teammates. You'll be surprised how well that can work, especially with Winston. Lead in with the bubble, use your ultimate. Obviously be careful if like they have a brig and you know they have like their ult, um, but they don't have a brig who can stop you with that, so you're gonna be fine. Maybe Junkrat gets a good trap on you, but like that, that's like, don't worry about that, just try to make the good play. What do you get the steps? Yes, you can you can give um uh, Drog, thank you for the five gifted check. It's a blaze effort. Drog with the five gifted. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Going top left. I love the start. So remember, University is a map that Winston will struggle on. This is a map where you see more heroes like Ramatra, Orisa, Zarya. You can go with Sigma. I don't like Sigma as much in this map just because, like, you have to play a little bit slower on some parts of the map and if they play it right. Sigma isn't bad on this map, though, either. It's not my favorite. Um, Roadhog on this map. Like, heroes like that. So going top left is your best bet. You can't fight in the middle. And you can keep the high ground for your team. So that's really nice. And that, that map control helps your team a lot. Having high ground on this map, it's very interesting because when you think about high ground on, on University uh, of Oasis, you think about like, well, it's not that good, but let me tell you this much. High ground on, on University is actually really good. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel like it would normally be on like an Icon Wall or like a Dorado. You know what I mean? Where, like, the high ground's so high, you think that's, like, the dominant high ground. But high ground on this map, it gives angles, and it takes away a lot of what you do. And back to the Winston gameplay. There's everybody. Thank you. I, I will say, I'm very happy with how you're playing with your position in here. This is, this is a very smart idea, and understanding that, like, you cannot play Winston how you would normally play. 
and you have to almost time your engagements. I would say right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, that was perfect, by the way. Avoiding the Bastion. Well played. Well played. We get the Blanket Trevor Wombats with the five gifts. Holy crap. People are going to be watching this YouTube video. I'm going to be <laughs> seeing the Blanket's emotes. Thank you, Wombats. And Cold Ramen. Thank you. Don't be afraid to ult this. This is your timing. This is a good ult opportunity. Jump in on that. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice job. Perfect. Keep in mind, I want to point this out with Winston L. You do not need to get a limbs or get a perfect Winston L. You just need to displace their team. And that's exactly what you did. That was a wonderful play. Good job of avoiding the Bastion. You're playing this map very well so far. A comp suggestion for, like, anti-dive? Uh, probably the Honor Brig comp. Even though, like, Winston's a little bit better against Honor Brig. Honor Brig's really good. Good job with your positioning. This is all This is all well played so far. Nice tire by your teammate. Don't be afraid to go to the point to make sure they can't get the value there. This is totally fine. Don't, actually, go for that Junkrat. Nice. reason why you go for the Junkrat is at the very worst, the Junkrat tires you. It doesn't get multiple Olymps. Very best, you get the Olymp, which is what you did. Oh, there you go, Eddie. That'll be fun. Don't they have, like... Aren't, like, a lot of their songs, like, ten minutes long? Which is cool. It's just, like, impressive. I don't mind you diving the Bastion during their ultimate. Obviously, you don't want to do that all the time. Fried Bento, thank you for the gift of stuff. Thank you. Nice. I appreciate that. Good job. I, I actually... For people who wanted to know how to play Winston on this map, I would say this is very well played, all things considered. Obviously... Sometimes it can be also how the other team's playing, so, like, it doesn't necessarily add up to, like, a one-to-one one -one experience with that. But I like the way this goes here, so. Is the where they are now is progression spectator channel close? No, but should be there. 100% should be there. I think it's still there. You know, I'm gonna get at least 100 bits. Three of these are bits. Thank you. You gotta counter swap the, want the Winston? Yeah, I mean, that can happen, too. Winston is... Remember what I Okay, remember what we've talked about, by the way, with, with your Winston L. I want you to apply that here now. This is fine. I understand why you did that. I'm totally okay with that. Good job doing that because you got you got junk Perhaps rat this gets us to level nine. Look at that. See this? You displaced them. See? Just like that. Was it the best Winston? No, but it displaced them. That was okay. This is something that happens a lot on, on Winston, and I know that, like, you're probably going to get the point, and it's no big deal. You get this thing on Winston where, like, you start to feel it. You're like, this is going well, and then you jump into a Reaper. Now, you're going to win this round, but just be careful of that, because if you do that when you're not going to win the round, or, like, the round isn't won, that can go the other way real fast. What rank is this? This is gold. This is a gold one Winston, which they're not playing bad. Like, straight up, they're not playing bad. Here goes the Winston. They can talk. I, I will say, uh, and, and you would mention you were you were getting like you got you got coaching for your Winston. I, you, you, they, the your, the coach you got did a very good job of letting you know like taking map control on high grounds because I can tell that like you prioritize that and you make it like your first step and that's a good thing. That that is correct. Uh, Bakes, thanks for the previous process. Thank you, appreciate it. Like that that is a good step for playing Winston. You're doing a good job on that. Point that out. And get the blaze ever rabbit cool with the five gift. Holy crap, thank you. The, teaching people how to play Winston and <laughs> all the, the gift of photo, thank you. <laughs> Understanding the high ground, I don't mind that. That was actually a great play by their junk rat. I'm gonna be real with you. That junk rat made a great play right there. Yep, a little bit overzealous here. Okay, so. This is where I want to point something out where you kind of get a little bit overzealous there, a little bit over aggressive, and you also aren't recognizing what they have at this point. So once that Junkrat's out of there, unless I, you have one option. That's to land on the high ground above them, and that's it, right? Land up here, right? That's your only option because if you go down there, they have a Brig now. You're not going to be able to get those Olympus. And I know that you have, like, the, the better, uh, like, zap against, like, the armor now, I think it is. They, they change that, like, at the beginning of the season, but... You won't be able to win that unless they're isolated in a 1v1 and you like take a health pack. Like you could, I mean, you could still win it if it's just a straight up 1v1, but like if their team's there, it's not going to go ideal. Keep that high ground thing that you've been doing and stay up there. So. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna talk about it very quickly. To point out here, this is all about recognizing the comp. This is you trying to do too much. And I know that like you still have plenty of time, but you don't want to make these plays because this is how you basically just lose the map. You spend time going in, you're feeding, like you're going in by yourself. Look back here. Your team is not even with you. You're diving a Brig, a Torb, and a Moira who's going to run away from you, right? That's not going to go well for you at all. They're playing stacked like this, so you need to find that value again. Honestly, go up here again. Stay up here. Go up here. Start, start right-clicking them a little bit. Be, 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 you know, be annoying on the high ground. Don't just run into their team. Now, if you have your ult, different story, but you weren't even close to your ult. That's you trying to do too much, and I think, like, it's okay to lose a couple team fights and not go into this, like, oh, I have to go do more time. Like, just... Give it time. This is a good Winston map if played correctly, but that's the way you're playing it now has not been ideal. Right. So just be careful of that because if you do that and you feed like that, that's how you're going to lose that value on Winston. Finding value on Winston can be tough at times, but like you can make it work if you don't just like... Here's the, here's the way I see it. You were playing very well for a long time, then you fell, kind of fell back into that like default Winston gameplay, which is just run in, dive, drop your bubble, and get rolled. It's changed so much in Overwatch 2 with how it works. All right, here we go. Nice, let's go, Kappa. There's all the chat with their golden kappas now. Uh, you can ult this if you want, by the way. You're at a point now where you kind of have to make a play here, so if you're, if you're wondering if you should ult this or not, definitely make a play. You'll lose your ult. You'll lose your ult. Just ult. Just ult. Don't save it. Just ult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You have to go to point. All right, so we'll talk about this very quickly uh, because I, I think this will kind of give you like a good idea on that one. I actually think you did a really good job at like some of like the Winston play that we saw. Like I, I think you had good habits going up on high grounds, kind of like taking the fight slow. And on the first map, you played well. The second map, you played well. The third map is where you really started to stray away from how you were playing. So I think one thing that will help you a lot with climbing is your consistency. I really feel like your consistency was just not quite there. And you need to start to recognize, still play for the high grounds. Recognize the comp they have. If they have a Brig, I don't want to see you just diving into their team and getting rolled on cooldown. If they have a Brig and a Torb who are playing together, you got, a, you got the lore right there. Too. On top of that, you got to be careful of that type of play. Obviously, you can you can switch heroes there if you want to, etc. Another suggestion too is like if you ever have duo, an Ana, and a Winston, and an Ana is such a good rotation that it can go really well. Um, things like that can help too. But overall, your gameplay wasn't bad. I actually think you probably will be in plat soon, so don't be like discouraged that you fell out of plat. Just work on your consistency of playing the way that you were playing on the first two maps, and I think you'll see better results. If they have a Brig, adjust your play style slightly. Things like that. But I think you'll be in a good spot with it. It wasn't bad at all. If you like this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe to all three youtubes if you haven't if you want to submit your own spectate and look in the description below you will see my discord right there follow everything in the description also we record these live on stream you can see the twitch chat right below the webcam so make sure to stop by if you haven't we have a lot of fun here with that being said hope you all have an amazing day slash night